morning, Comps to Middle School. Welcome to the AMS TV News for the week of March 13th. I'm Ivy. And I'm Eton. Let's check out this week's positive message. Hi, I'm Julie Rose, and today's positive message is an Irish blessing. May your blessings outnumber the shamrocks that grow, and may troubles avoid you wherever you go. The Community Service Club is collecting donations for the Guide Dog Foundation from now until March 17th. The foundation requires specific items, so please click the link below for more information. Friday is St. Patrick's Day. Let's turn things over to one of our AMS TV news reporters to learn more. Hi, I'm Nicholas. This Friday, we will be celebrating the holiday of St. Patrick's Day. Let's see how St. Patrick's Day is different in Ireland as compared, as compared to the United States. In Ireland, St. Patrick's Day is recognized as an official holiday, but in the U.S. it is not. People do celebrate St. Patrick's Day in the U.S., it's just not official. The holiday in Ireland is taken more seriously. In the U.S., US it's more of a fun celebration. Finally, Ireland doesn't dye their rivers green. However, in Chicago, it is done annually. So have fun this St. Patrick's Day, and don't forget to wear green. Thanks. This month we celebrate women's history. Let's learn more. This month, we celebrate women's history. National Women's History Month is an honorary observance in recognition of the women's many accomplishments throughout history. These women did many things like teaching, working in fields, flying into space, working in the government, working as doctors, leading the army, flying airplanes, and a lot more. Many women did so much to help, to help make the U.S. what it is today. For example, in the 19th century, a group of garment workers protested for better pay and better working conditions. The police tried to stop their protest, but the women succeeded and started their own union. Also, women protest for many things like the right to vote, working conditions, and equal rights. One of the consequences of protesting resulted in the law called Title IX. This law requires all schools in the U.S. to treat boys and girls sports equally. For instance, giving the same amount of money, good sport facilities, and equipment. Women's history impacted the world today by all the things that they did. Women did, and women did so much to help make the U.S. what it is today. Thanks. AMS is asking for your participation in the creation of a video giving middle school students the opportunity to sound off. We would like to know what our students really think. To be included, please use the Flipgrid link below and record your response to one of the following. Participation is much appreciated and also gives, gives you an opportunity to let your voice be heard. That's all for now. Thanks for watching the AMS TV News. Have a great week!